Hey, today's an exciting day. I'm on my way to the BMW dealer to get the 1,200 mile service done on the M2. Um, if you watched my previous video, you saw that I had it scheduled a couple weeks ago and uh, got denied the service because they didn't have diff fluid in stock. And apparently that's been a big issue. I looked up on the forums and I saw this issue going back to 2012. So I don't know why BMW hasn't fixed this. But anyways, I got a call yesterday from my dealer saying that um, the diff fluid was in. Would I like to come in and get, get the uh, service done? I said, can I come in tomorrow? And they said that they had an appointment available. So that's where we're going. Uh, looking forward to getting this done so that I can just drive this car like I want to drive it and not have to be worrying about uh, this whole break-in period anymore. So looking forward to it. Also, my birthday is coming up and my wife bought me a GoPro. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. She's making me wait until my birthday, which is fair. She had a really good idea to uh, do an unboxing video on the GoPro since I've never had a GoPro before or used one. So I think it'll be fun to unbox it with accessories, figure out how it works and show some of that. Uh, then of course we'll have some exciting driving videos, I hope, that we can make with the GoPro. finished up your braking service, rear diff fluid replacement, as well as the oil change. Tires on the vehicle, all in great shape all the way around. The pressures are set to door specifications as well. For the corrosion you're talking about, everything looks to be in great shape. Don't see any corrosion anywhere on the brakes. I'll show the outside of the rotor in a minute for you. Underneath the vehicle looks absolutely flawless. No issues at all there. All the rotors, everything looks to be in great shape. Don't see any, any abnormal issues anywhere. On the front of the car, same thing. Don't see any issues at all anywhere. All the bolts, everything in great shape. Also, we topped off all your fluids as well. Everything else in the vehicle looks to be in great shape. Bob, you're being touched soon. All right, I just picked up the car from the dealer after getting the 1200 mile service done. About to get on the expressway. to not hit that car in front of me. Uh, I'm a little low on fuel. Man, that was quick. Also can't wait to get a camera mount and my GoPro going.
right after I get gas, I'm gonna put it in sh paddle shift mode, and which means I'm not gonna be able to film since I'm holding the camera. Um, but once I get my GoPro up and going, and that'll be something I can mount, and then I'll do some more driving videos with it. All right, I'm running auto mode. So I can, so it'll shift. I'm just gonna take off one, see what happens. Good grief. Yeah, that's pretty quick. builds a speed too it, you feel it just pulling and pulling and pulling it does not want to stop accelerating off the line it's fighting for traction a little bit obviously it's just rear wheel drive it's not an x drive they don't do the m2 and the x drive yet by the way if anybody wonders what this big hole in the dash is that's where the projector is for the heads up display that was one question we had when we first looked at this car because there's not a hole on the other side of the dash there's only a hole on this side of the dash that's what that's for all right I definitely had a little fun coming home from the dealership now that I've got the break-in period done um, I can see uh, really enjoying this car for a while going forward. It is fun, it's fast. And now that I don't have to worry about babying it, I can just enjoy it. So yeah. So thanks for watching. There will be plenty more content to come with this car.